This is one of the most pathetic situations that I've ever seen in my life. This whole saga has been a roller coaster of a ride, and I want you guys to come on board. It's hard for you to chant at Ben Simmons when you lose him by that much. You're gonna leave this video being as exhausted as I was when editing this whole catastrophe, man. How the hell you got a back injury? I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah, David, I don't know that question or the answer to that right now. Um, yeah, the goal is to make you cry. Wow. <laughs> At this point, I don't care about them bang, honestly. But you should, and the reason is simple. Because the owners are gonna remember this. This one's gonna be fun. Help me enjoy. Scott, is there anything that you can do coaching-wise? Does the thought cross your head at all to take him out of the game there? No. So our story now begins with a very confident Doc Rivers after a playoff post-game presser. Why not? You want me to take Ben Simmons off the floor? No, I mean, I got to ask the question. I will pass on that one. From the beginning, Ben Simmons was a problem when it came to him shooting the free throws. I mean, you could see it here at a historic rate he was struggling. That mark is the worst such mark in NBA playoff history, even worse than Wilt and Shaq. So you can imagine my shock when Doc Rivers had this to say about the whole situation. He's pretty good, so I'll pass on that suggestion. I didn't think he was scared of the moment. He just didn't make him, so... Uh, you know, again, with Ben, we're going to keep him on the floor. Unless you guys want us to bench him the whole game. If anybody wants to do that, just let me know. Um, and then I'll know you don't know basketball. But before we shred this whole argument apart, does he have a point? Well, I agree with Doc Rivers if you're talking about benching Ben Simmons. Then you're right. You don't know basketball. You don't bench a Ben Simmons. Ben is not a 40-point guy. It's not what he does. He does other things for your team. And I can see that this is where this type of thinking leads to people like Stephen A. Smith saying stupid things like this. I believe that Ben Simmons is a jump shot away from being LeBron James. But let's be real, folks. Did LeBron ever struggle this much shooting the ball? Is what would take him from all-star to superstar. It is a big deal. And... This is the stance that Doc has taken since he got to Philly. He ain't a superstar. He's an all-star. He, he does, and he is a guy whose weakness is incredibly glaring. And all of this came into head in a series that nobody really saw coming. Dave, you noted to our producers the Hawks are tied for the best record in the East since March 1st. But we should have seen this coming, right? Like, this is where the NBA is headed. Trey Young is just a phenom. So I think you look at this Hawks, they're a sleeping giant. They're built around a player who is perfectly fit for today's NBA and Trey Young. But in hindsight is 2020, and back then, I do not think this was the majority opinion. Mmm, Dave, I think you got too much dip on your chip, my guy. <laughs> so how did things get so close between these two teams, right? The Sixers, the number one seed in the East. So why did this series go to seven? The answer is actually simpler than you think. He went away from it. He went to the dark side in game two. He needs to get rid of it <laughs> wow. forever. The NBA needs to get rid of it forever. Yes, the hack of Ben, right? This is hacking Ben Simmons, fouling him so that he can shoot free throws because he's one of the worst shooters in the history. We get it. This is not pretty basketball, and it probably annoys us TV people the most as it changes up the window and with which the games will finish. Um, but it is strategic, and if it gets you some results, I'm not mad. And I agree. This is actually a pretty useful strategy when you're down, and Ben Simmons here gets fouled. It's a clear path. But the crowd, obviously, getting anxious because now he's having to make both free throws. After replay review, it is a clear path foul. Two shots. All right, so let's just see how he does with the first one. Yeah, of course he misses it, right? But the second one, you'd be surprised to see that. This crowd trying to help out Ben Simmons. And he misses again. He's missed five consecutive free throws now. Oh, of course he didn't, he didn't actually make the free throw. I was just joking with you. And yeah, they're going to foul Simmons and put him back at the line. You see how effective this is? Simmons now has to go to the line again. Six to five timeouts. Okay, thank you for that. As Simmons knocks down a free throw. And they celebrated that one like it was a buzzer beater free porn at the half. I mean, this fan right here is trying to help him out too. It's really nice. Why? That's right. See? Uh, coming up short. But look, Philly, at least they have a 24-point lead, right? This is a good game. And unfortunately for Sixers fans, and fortunately for this Atlanta team, this is now up 3-2 in this series. I really do feel sorry for you if you turned off the TV after seeing this. Because the game went the complete opposite direction. 
Skip, you know, instead of just putting all the blame, I'm going to give it a percentage. I'm going to say Ben Simmons deserves 70% of the blame. Dwight Howard has a higher usage rate in this series at 18.5 than Ben Simmons at 14.4. But of course, it's a team sport, so really it's a team effort, so you all get the blame. I'm disappointed in the Sixers. This series should be over. This series should be over. I'm going to say Joel Embiid deserves 20% of the blame. And Tobias Harris, I don't know what he did yesterday, Skip. That was awful. Mm. So within a short period of time, you have now Doc Rivers' words, okay, his words of wisdom coming to bite him in the ass. It might have been a week ago about Ben Simmons and Doc Rivers went on this rant. But what is he supposed to do? Is he supposed to take a max player, an all-star, an all-defensive player, a guy who thought he should be defense player of the year? I'm supposed to take you off the floor when I'm trying to protect the lead? About y'all don't know basketball if you think I'm going to take Ben Simmons out in these situations. That is true. What the hell did he do last night, Skip? Credit goes out to the Hawks. They played an excellent game. Phenomenal. But Doc Rivers, man, we've seen this movie way too many times. Come on, shape up. That he's been at the helm, and I love Doc. He's been at the helm of some epic meltdowns now in these last two years when he's been the coach. That's what we've seen. Philly is the only team to blow 18-point leads in back-to-back -back games in the playoffs in the last 25 seasons. You could see here a common denominator being Doc Rivers being the coach of that team. Like, look, a lot of this has to do with how bad Simmons is at shooting. Uh, one, we got to look at his form and technique. Okay, is there that? It doesn't seem like it's a technical issue. This is all between the ears. It's all psychological. Series on the line, pressure mounting. I mean, this is... A recipe for disaster for a person like Ben Simmons that's struggling mentally. Hey, 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 ben, but Cameron, Ben, you went to LSU. Man up, man. Man up. Stop messing around. Come on now. And then B, let's be honest, he's probably looking at Ben Simmons saying he shouldn't have been playing PUBG this whole time. Come on. You getting it? Hop on, man. Play one. Yeah, we need one more, man. You got time. Who do you play tomorrow? Hawks. Yeah, you got you got plenty of time. <laughs> Simmons, they cleared out for him. Tapping his way in. Spins off Gallinari. Gives it up. Oh, he was right there. Uncontested had a layup, but he leaves it for Thibel. This is hands down one of the most catastrophic plays ever. Well, but that's when you know that the game is in your head. That's a oh, dunk for man. Ben Simmons right there. Was fear setting in? I mean, the guy like Trey Young, you could easily dunk over that. Turner, this dude is scared to death. I mean, if. It's unbelievable. You gotta have ice in your veins in these situations. At game seven, it's unfortunate that he had to go up against Trey. Two and a half to go, long three on its way. And Trey Young! Ice cold delivers a three! If you're Simmons, you just move on from a game like this. You just brush it off. But the problem is he can't. I understand Ben Simmons is, is struggling and stuff like that. But it's all about that confidence, man. And mental, yeah. The mental and that confidence. Ben Simmons can be an all-star. But that's all he can be until he learned how to shoot. It seemed like all the noise got to Simmons. And I could see why at surface glance, right? Embiid. Hey, Joel, what was the moment for you personally tonight where your your belief in what uh, you had in terms of this being the Sixers year turned to the recognition that it just wasn't going to happen? But I thought the turning point was just, you know, we had uh, – an open shot and you know we miss uh, we made one free throw and uh, we missed the other and then they came down and scored uh, and uh, we didn't get a good pos uh, possession on the other end and Trey came back and he made a three and then from there uh, down four. But none will be worse than the coach of the Sixers. Yes, Doc Rivers. Look at what he had to say about Simmons. Hmm. Interesting. Uh... <clears throat> Interesting answer and interesting non-committal answer by, no, it's not. by Doc Rivers to that. This may have been what broke the camel's back right here. Doc, do you think Ben Simmons can, can still be a point guard for, for a championship team like the one you guys want to become? Yeah, David, I don't know that question or the answer to that right now. Um, you know, so I don't know the answer to that. And it doesn't take a two-year-old to decipher what Doc Rivers actually wanted to say. I mean, the answer is clearly no. Oh. Oh, I know the answer to that question. I know the answer to whether or not Ben Simmons is a championship point guard. And I think Doc Rivers knows it too. The answer is very simple. Hell no. Not in Philly at least. Ben 
<clears throat> it's time for a change. Yeah. It's time for a change because he can't recover from this. Simmons will be scrutinized for this season more than in any other one. It's the first time since he's been there that all those other things don't outweigh this anymore. This has now become a deflating issue for his teammates, for his other star player, probably for his head coach. He needs to see a sports psychologist. He has a fear of failure that he has to unlock. What can Simmons do to fix this, right? What can he do to get right? And he has been very reluctant to consider this. Um, he is ambidextrous. He does do some things right-handed. And there's some belief that maybe he's shooting with the wrong hand. Now, that is a... A big ask of any player to Sorry for the cheeky puns, but it had to be done. Now, Simmons, you could see him practicing his righty <laughs> with that shooting form of his. And, you know, Tristan Thompson, you know, he did switch his hands from left to righty in terms of his shooting hand. And it doesn't look good, but at least he can go to him since, you know, he dated a Kardashian too. Now, speaking of which, the Kardashian curse is real. So real, in fact, that they had to deny it. Who in the family believes in the Kardashian curse? What I don't like about the narrative is that the blame is on us. Like, I think that they need to put, the like, the men need to take that responsibility. You Travis also have doing two great. Yeah, I'm sure he is. <laughs> uh, I just thought that was a funny part right there. NBA championships, a Super Bowl, what else? I mean, all these things. Well, yeah, that have, of course, factually, you can go down the factual successes of all the... But how are you going to take responsibility for the successes and try to deny the failures? I mean, that's just a little bit backwards, don't you think? And also, it's worth mentioning that she's currently dating Devin Booker, who is killing it right now. And <laughs> oh, Devin Booker. Really? <laughs> Yikes. That aged so poorly. I mean, you could just see it in his face. He's just downright afraid. Now, I've clearly just veered off the topic of this video. Sorry about that. But before I continue, please consider subscribing. I'll try to do more videos like these in depth, diving deep into these, you know, NBA stories. I love to do these type of videos. Also, I'm trying to be Aisha Curry in subs. I know I have 2K. It doesn't, I don't care. Now, Scotty Pippen, he did say some things about Ben Simmons. Y'all know he can't shoot. Y'all know he don't look to shoot in the fourth quarter. You know he's afraid to go to the foul line. He doesn't want to be humiliated. I'm not against Ben Simmons, but I think he is who he is. I don't know if I like Scottie Pippen saying these words, but he does have a point here, guys. I watch a lot of games that Doc shouldn't have had him in in the fourth quarter. This kid has been this way the whole time, and Doc brought him in and set him up for failure. This to me is... We're going to see this narrative running around for a bit. Doc Rivers is the one that set up Ben Simmons for failure. But Ben Simmons is the one that did that pass. And really, as a team, they screwed up royally. And somehow, in that same series, you're going to be in a game seven at home where the opposing team's best player goes five of 23. But the numbers don't lie. Ben Simmons, man. <laughs> that fourth quarter, actually, those fourth quarters are horrific. And instead, Ben just regressed to the worst version of himself. Now, do I think in fact This is, I think, a very glaring problem for Ben Simmons. Fourth quarter struggles. Not just that, but not even being willing to shoot and take a shot in the fourth quarter. Yeah. He didn't miss one. In the fourth, in the fourth quarter. He didn't miss exactly. one. What is it in your game that you think you need to improve first? I think shit, all of it. You hit on all of it. Uh, I ain't shoot well from the line this series. Um, offensively, I wasn't there. It sounds like he understands what he needs to work on. It sounds like he's going to hold himself accountable for how bad he played. All right. Um, I like Simmons. the way he did that, though. Yeah. Honestly, he didn't, he didn't shy away. He said, I got to get in the gym and do some work. But it is funny to hear him say this after seven games. Oh, I got to give him some credit for that. I like him I like him answering questions. Uh, and the way he answers. I, I do. I think Chuck and Kenny, they made a good point. But obviously, Shaq has a problem. I mean, uh, what else, Shaq? What, I mean, what's wrong with that, Shaq? If I play game one and two and I know I'm not helping my team out, what you think I'm going to do in game three? Don't take you seven games to realize that. I don't want to hear that, man. But Shaq also makes a good point here, talking about Ben Simmons. I mean, it took you this long to learn this? It took you really? Come on. The Atlanta Hawks knocking off the Philadelphia 76ers. One He's in my locker room. I would have knocked his ass out. The 96. <laughs> I'm sure every Sixer fan feels the same way. I mean, you could just see it. The energy after that game was seeped out of them. And now it's just full of anger and resentment. 
Ben Simmons, you crumb bum piece of s Avert your eyes, children. Nah, I'm joking. Even children should be angry at how bad Simmons played. I mean, this is just unforgettable, and it's also unforgivable. Ben Simmons for a bag of s right now. Bye, Ben. Any thoughts on the Sixers? Ben Simmons. There you go. I mean, I get it, man. Look at just how bad he was in the fourth quarters. He hadn't hit a shot in five of the seven games. He hadn't even attempted a shot. That's how bad it is. Burn the jerseys, man. Go all out. I'm telling you right now, this is healing. This is therapeutic for these fans right now. You go back to Stephen A earlier saying, you know, you got to trade him. Well, you got Doc coming out and saying, I don't know if he's a championship caliber player. Like, at some point, where is their trade value? The answer is there is none. Think, think about this, though. What if the Sixers kept Jimmy Butler instead and, trade, and, trade and got rid of Ben Simmons. Simmons? Where would they be? Well, it's two things that they probably looking at it now and saying, man, and that's keeping Jimmy, but also not trading for James. James Harden, and yeah, that was James Ben Harden. Simmons is what oh, yeah. reported because the Rockets wanted. That's right. They wanted Ben. They didn't want to probably throw him into the deal yeah. and see. I mean, looking back, yeah, the, the Sixers should have traded for Harden. I don't know what they were thinking. Honestly, like, Darren Morey should have acted fast. The Sixers are looking to trade Simmons and would like to get an all-star caliber player in return here. But let's be honest here. Who wants Simmons? I mean, it's just it's, it's just not viable. What general manager in his right mind would see watch the last five games and say, we need to go and get that guy and give up something for him? I think this really just shows the delusion some people had when regarding Ben Simmons as this great player. He's never going to be what we originally thought he would be. A six foot 10 inch, Magic Johnson, LeBron type football player basketball player i mean come on did we really think that ben simmons could fill the shoes of magic and lebron do the fans have a responsibility to stay loyal to the team no matter what they are loyal to the team they're loyal to winning first they're loyal to success so oh this one is interesting danny green in the podcast and you know saying some things that are you know quite interesting quite controversial i like it man I love our fans, but you know, you know, when things aren't going well, they can turn on you. Um, that's the one thing that I, I would disagree with or, or dislike. But you know, some guys use their motivation. Some guys have a chip on their shoulder. But you know, they, I think that needs to change somehow. They need to be riding with us regardless of how things are going. But think about it though. This goes both ways. Fans and players they, they have a symbiotic relationship you got to give the fans a reason to cheer ben simmons the sixers yeah you guys were just not it to fix his mentals he needs to stay off twitter if he's going to do that it comes with the territory folks you're the butt of the joke now uh actually very <laughs> clever i actually remember when this tweet first came out this is an old tweet and at the time it was hilarious ben simmons going to have to learn chinese that's that's great and also this one had me dying. <laughs> what do you uh, think that they're all thinking? What kind of form is that, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what? that's the issue. Maybe it's not mental. Maybe, Maybe it's, it's a shooting coach. Form. Man, Ben Simmons, I know he's a social media guy, man. I, I just know he saw all these tweets, all these comments. He's going to see this video probably. But, bro, you got to take it like a champ. Great defender? <laughs> Maybe just a great defender. I mean, he's an all-star. He should That's not together. buckets. <laughs> <laughs> not a bucket. He's not the same player in high school that people were just... You know, admiring, he was a 6'10 point guard. People were so in love with the idea of Ben Simmons. But now the Sixers, they can do without him. All right, Mike, just three weeks ago, the Sixers indicated they were committed to Ben Simmons. But today, The Athletic reported that Philly has opened up trade conversations. Woj reporting trade talks around Simmons are expected to indeed heat up this week. Not a good year. I mean, look, I know he was on defensive, all-star player. But uh, his numbers are down, and you could see at 23, 24, 25, you should not be declining like this. The situation, the scenario that's always made sense for me is some sort of CJ McCollum for Ben Simmons framework. And I mean, just how the mighty have fallen. I mean, a first pick in the draft. Now he's in discussions with trades with guys like CJ McCollum. LeBron would never. I want to see Ben Simmons in more of a Draymond Green role. Stop putting him in a position where he's the primary playmaker, where he's the, uh, the point guard. Ouch. Draymond, a second rounder, being compared to a number one pick. I'm telling you, man, you got to be humble about these things. Ben Simmons, you've fallen off. Simmons hasn't shown that he can impact 
playoff games nope. and late and be the kind of closer that's going to demand a, you know, a top five player back. But let's not be hasty, folks. Look at this free pointer. I mean, he has potential still. He can still be a good player regardless of where he ends up. But I, I think he has shown that he's a hell of a player in yeah. all sorts of other situations, and he, he can demand an all-star back. Ben is going to end up somewhere else, and I, like you, know that he's going to ball when he gets to his next destination. He's going to do work at his next destination. Some people still had faith that Ben could turn it all around. I mean, it was just one bad game, right? Or one bad series, or one bad playoff run. He doesn't even have to get a perimeter shot. He's good for 23 a night if he could just hit free throws, mm. literally. I mean, just look at how he's saucing them up. He can still pass it like nobody else can. He's a phenom. He can still do it. My question for you is, what is the best move that the Warriors can make in this upcoming offseason that would put them back in title contention? I'll tell you what, watching this, knowing that the Warriors made the finals, it's interesting, really, looking back. But man, did they dodge a bullet here. And I tell you, if you can, get rid of Wiggins, give up a couple of picks, and go out there and trade that to Philadelphia for Ben Simmons. Put Ben Simmons in Golden State with Clay and Steph and watch what the hell happens. It would be special. They'd win the chip next year as far as I'm concerned. I honestly think Simmons would be playing less minutes than Andre Iguodala did this year in the conference finals. I mean, the Warriors just look amazing. They don't need a Ben Simmons. They have a Draymond Green already, right? That's the point, folks. Like, this guy, this fantasy that we're having Ben Simmons is just all wrong. Not everyone knows this, but Ben Simmons has been building orphanages like this one completely out of his playoff brick. <laughs> Anthony Mackie, I love it. The trolling, the roasting. I mean, this is just what the doctor ordered. What do you like to say, little ladies? Thank you, Simmons! Man, this was such a good offseason looking back. Now, Ben Simmons, it seems like he was spending his offseason burning bridges and distancing himself. There's talk that he's not returning the calls of Joel Embiid, the, his co-superstar co there in Philadelphia. Ben Simmons and the Sixers are not seeing eye to eye this offseason, so much so that they haven't really been communicating. Uh, and that he's not even, you know, returning anybody's calls within the organization. But I can see this being Ben just trying to get himself right, trying to get his mindset right to come into the season strong. Uh, and there is news that maybe he won't even go to training camp. That's how badly he wants out. Wow, that's some breaking news right there. Ben Simmons not showing up to training camp. I mean, that's just going to leave everyone with a t bad taste in their mouths. Like, it's just hard for me to fathom that he would even do that. Sources, trust me, bro. Stop using my name to push people's agendas. I love and hate drama. I love playing with Ben. Stats don't lie. He's an amazing player, and we all didn't get the job done. It's on me personally. I hope everyone is back because we know we're good enough to win. Now, I can see here that there is a large group of people, right? A, a very concerning amount of people that want to make Ben Simmons the victim here, right? The victim of some sort of wrongdoing. And it just annoys me. He threw Ben Simmons under the bus after they lost that game. And it doesn't help that people like Jay Williams are the ones, you know, propping up these narratives, trying to make Ben Simmons the victim. I mean, it sounds like he's being paid by Clutch Sports to say this. Now, I talked to Rich Paul yesterday, and Rich Paul was like, look, we go anywhere but stay in Philly. That's what I thought. You can't really trust some of these guys. They have their own agendas. But wait, wait, wait. Is that some breaking news I'm hearing? Yeah, guys, there's some breaking news that I need to report. Uh, by the way, uh, let's switch gears here. We just got in footage of Ben Simmons leaving hastily out of Philadelphia. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That was that was not a, at all what I wanted to report. Okay, uh, yeah, the real news now. Begin training camp on September 28th. What's the potential for a Ben Simmons holdout if he's still on the team? It's very strong, Kevin. From what I have been told, Ben Simmons does not intend to return for training camp if he is not traded. Wow. That is a big, big yikes. I mean, if I'm Ben Simmons, why am I doing this again? What, what do I have to gain out of this? Now, obviously, the trade talks, they're not stopping anytime soon. Ben Simmons, he's still a sixer. 
and you may be less likely to end up a warrior. Did anybody find it weird when so many in the media were reporting about the warriors potentially trading for Ben Simmons? I mean, why would they do that when, again, they already have a Draymond Green? Monty Poole of NBC Sports reports that some Golden State executives are concerned that pairing him on the floor with Draymond Green could leave the team's offense with too many non-shooters. Duh. I mean, are we just going to ignore how historically bad Ben Simmons is at shooting free throws? Not just that, but he doesn't even take shots from outside five, five feet. Like, it's so rare to see it. If I'm the Golden State Warriors, I make this move. I think this will put them right now neck and neck with the Lakers for best team in the Western Conference. Suck it, media. The Lakers lost. They didn't even make the play in. And the Warriors are the Western champs. Now, okay, okay sidetracked again sorry ben simmons trades yeah ben simmons financially i mean a lot of this has implications for him well there's two dates you need to know okay september 28th is when camp starts if ben simmons doesn't show up to camp that's when his clock starts imagine not showing up to work and then losing eight million dollars this is like you would die for that much money man this is insane october 1st that's when the sixers have to make a decision that is when 25 percent of ben simmons salary is due at the end of the day basketball in the nba is a job man you play the game you love but you also have to work i know he wants out but at the end of the day you're getting paid a lot of money to do your job you know simmons acting this weird i mean it's no surprise that people clown him on social media I mean, Shaq, he had this cereal that he was promoting, but he had some words to say. How you going to work out and then eat the cinnamon basketball? Because, first of all, when I work out, I work out hard. I'm not like some players from Philadelphia who don't work on their game. I always oh. work on my game. <laughs> Shaq, you cheeky devil, you knew what you were doing there. Oh my God, Vince Simmons, why you said You're such a troublemaker. You know I, I, I didn't say no names. I didn't say no names. If I'm the Sixers, I'm worried because I'm trying to get a hold of Ben Simmons. But thankfully, it seems like they finally got a hold of him. Last month, owner Josh Harris, Daryl Morey, Doc Rivers go to LA, meet with Ben Simmons and his agent Rich Paul and say, hey, look, let's try to reset things, go into the season, have a good year, win a bunch of games and see if we can't do a deal later. Oh, wow. That sounds great. So that means Simmons is going to now show up to training camp, he's going to have his season, and things are going to turn back around. Not only does Ben Simmons uh, plan to not report to training camp, he intends to never play for the Sixers again. Oh boy, this is not good news. Now Doc Rivers, he was trying to cover his ass off after this. I actually said when the guy asked, guys, I'm not answering that stuff right now. Mm. I don't even know how to answer that. Ah. So what I was talking about, was not answering the question when asked whether or not ben simmons was a championship point guard you said and i quote i don't know the answer to that that non-committal answer is basically like saying no let's let's face the facts here and i got off the phone with rich paul and literally i, I talked to rich a, a, a ton oh brother not this guy again what is he about to say about ben simmons what lie is he going to come up with now you know there's this whole narrative out there max that he doesn't work on his game there isn't a hunger level to ben which couldn't be further from the truth i watched him work out in the summer i watched i, I talked to his trainer a ton does it translate to the game in the moments you need it the most no it does not that is so pathetic now <laughs> Ben Simmons, it doesn't matter what these people have to say. He is cooked. He's screwed. He has given the impression that he is willing to cost himself a year's salary in excess of $33 million in order to get the hell up out of Philadelphia. I know there's guys like Skip Bayless that are going to tell you, Ben Simmons, he had a great game against the Jazz. Have you ever heard of something called a one-hit wonder? What are your expectations for Ben Simmons this year with Philadelphia? What? To, to get them back and once we get back in the fold uh then we can get to work and every time doc rivers opens his mouth there's always going to be people just flaming him i really like doc rivers he mismanaged publicly the ben simmons scenario when they lost last year look one thing that i understand is that ben simmons look it's not the end of the world but with guys like matisse Feibel coming and saying i'm responsible for the loss why i made the foul that ended the la that lost us the last game, and I received almost no like. There's some. There's a little bit on Twitter, but like, the Ben hate was so much louder. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The hate is so loud, and you know, for good reason.
What's the real reason that you're hearing Simmons wants out of Philly? Well, well Miley is simple. He's scared. It does look like he's scared. I have to agree here. He's skipping out on the Australian Olympics? Come on. You are literally a jump shot away from being LeBron James 2.0. Oh, brother. Now, Embiid and Simmons, there appears to be a rift going on between the two. The situation is, is weird, disappointing, uh, borderline kind of disrespectful to all the guys that are out here, you know, fighting for their lives. Now, the latest news is that Ben Simmons is not going to get paid. The eight... Point two five million dollars. That's a lot of money, man. What's going on, man? Simmons still isn't at training camp as the Sixers face the Raptors tonight. I mean, you even got rival executives being angry about the whole Simmons situation. They're saying, look, Sixers, do not fold. Do not cave in. They're not caving. And they're not caving because they're not paying him. The NBA has been building to this moment for years and years and years. From Jimmy Butler to James Harden to Anthony Davis, now Ben Simmons. I mean, this is just getting catastrophic right now. The good news is that Ben Simmons showed up. He showed up. He showed up. He is in Philadelphia. That is tremendous news. Can they reconcile the 76ers and Simmons? Man, I hope they do because, uh, man, there's a lot riding on this one, really. Now he's probably already in the meet with Doc Rivers. Well, he's supposed to be in a meeting with Doc Rivers today. That much I can tell you. The only thing that he did yesterday was arrive to take his COVID test. It seemed like fans, some of them, wanted Simmons out still, despite all this. I Get him out of here! The man deserves Get to him out of here! No, he deserved to have his day. And you got other fans, I mean, they're just being nice. They're trying to be as polite as they can be about the whole thing. He didn't perform like he should have last season. If he comes back, maybe on a trial run. Seems like things are shaping up in the right direction. Simmons hopefully now can play in his first regular season game. We're going to start with you. Simmons suspended one game. What's your reaction to that? Holy cow. It's like every time something good happens, there always has to be an equally bad thing. And Doc Rivers, I know Doc. He walked in and he set him up. Doc asked him to do a drill in practice. He didn't want to do it, so Doc kicked him out. That's what happened. I at the end of the workout, and so he's just kind of like dribbling the ball behind the team as they gather and put their hands in. And This is even worse than when Jimmy Butler took on the Timberwolves' third stringers. I mean, I can't even, I'm, I, I'm just speechless right now. At this point, I don't care about that man, honestly. He does whatever he wants. So. I just feel bad for Embiid right now, man. He's having to deal with all of this nonsense at a constant basis. Like, this is sad. Like I said, I'm not here to babysit. Uh, you know, I, I'll be willing to babysit if, you know, someone wants to listen. I mean, <laughs> Embiid, he's tired. He's, he's exhausted. You could tell. The season hasn't begun. He's, he's already burnt out, man. Ben has to go. It's Ben Simmons. He has to go. You got to get, you got to get rid of him. I'm not saying trade him for 20 cents on the dollar or even 40 cents on the dollar. But you gotta, get, you gotta get rid of him. And now he's missing games during the regular season. I mean, how much worse can this get? He's mishandled the situation. Rich Paul, to some degree, has mismanaged the situation. And the 76ers as an organization has mishandled the situation. Simmons expected to meet with the Sixers later this morning to discuss his future with the team. Maury, man, you gotta hurry up. I don't know what you're waiting for right now. The trades need to happen now. You need to get to work. This is getting intense right now. The best thing we can do is get role players back. Um, that makes no sense. People should buckle in. I mean, this is going to go a long time. I mean, you heard the guy. It's going to take a while before Simmons gets traded. Well, Embiid, you know, try and do control damage here in the first home opener for the Sixers. Oh, man. You know, a lot has happened the last few months, and I urge you guys to continue to support us and our teammate Ben, because he's still our brother. Let's go. Well, our brother Ben just skipped another workout. He is on a roll today, man. This guy keeps getting away with this. He's just not going to budge on this issue, man. He's really serious. You know, things to be seem to be moving very much in a positive direction. Uh, we're going to provide all the resources and get Ben what he needs. Okay, now we have to be careful, okay? Ben Simmons just told the Sixers that he's not mentally ready to play, okay? Mental health is serious. I'm not here to question any of that. I'm just here to really talk about the story because it's all over the place. I mean, just recently, 
you have statements from all parties involved. You know, Ben's a great player, and, you know, we expect him back. We expect him to be a 76er. If you had gotten the chance to sit with Ben and talk to him, what would you have said to him? I would probably say um, I'm disappointed. Dude is letting and beat down uh, at a level that I didn't think was possible. I mean, he's having to carry this team through thick and thin. I mean, he's really hurt at the moment, and you could just tell. Stephen A. said, I'm not sure his heart was in it. I, I don't. I think his heart's in it. I don't think his knee is. We have to go all the way back to the first game of the season when he bumps into Jonas Valanciunas in a game against the New Orleans Pelicans. Now you can see a close-up of how he gets hurt right here. Oh, that's terrible right there. Ben Simmons not cooperating with the Sixers mental health doctors. I mean, this just makes the situation even worse. This is unprofessional. Mm. The Sixers stopped finding him after he claimed to be mentally unready. And now they're finding him again because of this so oh much. You can't get back role players who can help you. The 76ers are tied for the best record in the East right now. Think of how much better they could be looking in their forecast if they had traded Simmons even for 70 cents on the dollar. I think Jalen Rule said it well. He said, look, it's not relevant because this team is going down the hill. The process as we know it is going to be over. And Ben is still not traded. So he has, he has seen uh, somebody who has been appointed by the just so you can get by the, by paid the team again. yeah okay now this is where we get into touchy subjects i mean chuck I, I get the questioning i get it i just don't know if that's appropriate right now it's like gilbert arenas now comes in and just has a rebuke to them and you know once once a shack or a charles barkley say it it becomes law yeah in reality they were the same person Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were the same if they want to call him prima donna he was the same prima donna talk about making a situation that's not about you about you i mean okay let's just forget the gilbert arena stuff now jalen rose okay this is great he's saying ben simmons met with the sixers medical specialist this is great news and this is actually getting weirder surprisingly now rich paul is coming in trying to give the Sixers an ultimatum, and I, I just think this is dirty, really slimy stuff. I truly believe the fines, the targeting, the negative publicity shined on this issue, that's very unnecessary and has furthered the mental health issues for Ben. So either you can help Ben or come out and say he's lying, which is it? <sighs> Making an ultimatum out of something the Sixers never claimed. He's trying to put them in a spot that's very tough. Now, Howard Eskin, I, I never knew this person existed before today. Now, he has a podcast, and he he was talking about how Ben Simmons apparently, this is alleged, okay? This is not verifiable fact. Apparently, Ben Simmons is lacking the funds, the moolah. Got it. Okay. I was told by somebody very reliable, he may be tapped out broke uh cash flow broke because he's losing so much money but he spent so much money look at the things he owns 17 and a half million dollar home remember he's got to pay taxes too 17 and a half million dollar home he's got two homes in the philadelphia area worth probably about eight or nine million he buys a new car every month four or five hundred thousand he just spends money like it's nothing because he thinks it never ends. Now, the trade talks are getting crazier and crazier. There's a lot of teams involved, apparently. Ben Simmons is a hot commodity. Who, who would have thought after a horrific Game 7? I think Dame sees Ben Simmons as what Draymond is to Steph Curry. There's a lot of teams that people are talking about could get Simmons. The Portland Trailblazers, apparently Lillard said he wants to play with Simmons. You got the Pacers coming in, and it's like, okay... This is getting crazy now. And then you got the Cleveland Cavaliers of all teams that are, you know, one of the top teams that apparently Ben Simmons is going to, according to the betting odds. The Knicks? A realistic trade situation? I mean, this is getting out of hand. Is there any movement for a possible Simmons trade here? <laughs> Malika, there is no movement. And listen, we may be in this situation all the way until the NBA draft. Because so as you could guess, these are rumors, okay? A lot of these are trade rumors. These aren't factual. A lot of people are just speculating at this point. It's, it's really sad.
Daryl Morey, the president of the Sixers. I'm calling up to Brad Stevens and I'm offering Ben Simmons, I'm offering Matisse Thibel, and I'm getting Jalen Brown and Juancho Hernan Gomez just to make the money work. Oh, that is a terrible trade for the Celtics. Oh my goodness. Brad Stevens probably looked at that and laughed. He laughed his way to the finals. I mean, come on. Ben Simmons right now, is, the teams that are looking for him is, is getting smaller and smaller. And the Lakers are definitely not one of those teams. I mean, who wants Westbrook? You got to give me AD. Who, who, who wants Russ? That's a championship caliber team. Philly shot that down and said, oh, yeah, we like Ben Simmons. Not for Russell Westbrook mm -hmm. you want. Give us Anthony Davis and we'll talk. Okay, okay, there's more trade talks. There's more teams involved. Uh, apparently, Kyrie Irving for Ben Simmons is being proposed by people as out of speculation. On a lot of fronts, a lot more teams, two, three-team trade scenarios. They're still trying to land a top 25 player in the league for Ben Simmons. A big it's really interesting seeing a player with such high upside and such low downsides on, on, on either end of the floor. It's like Daryl Morey has got his work cut out for him. The, the Indiana deal works for Philly. I'm not giving up Sabonis and or Brogdon for Ben Simmons. If I'm uh, Philly, I think this is what they do. You got to hold out for Harden. Haven't we heard this name again? Ha haven't we heard this trade being proposed before? Harden? Simmons? I don't know. Stephen Nay, though, he, he doesn't seem to be a fan. The last place I trade him is Brooklyn. If I, I got K if I got KD <laughs> and Kyrie now, and I get Ben Simmons, I'm Philly. I'm never coming out of the East. Now, Darren Morey, it's no secret that his asking price is going higher and higher. Philly's asking price has even gotten steeper. <laughs> that there would be a thought that, you know, as you got closer to the deadline, they start to come back down to earth of what they're asking for. That's not been the case. I have to disclose that Ben Simmons and the Sixers have met yet again and unsurprisingly no resolution has come to shape now also unsurprisingly teams are leaving the table cleveland was a team that people were talking about like if you're jb bickerstaff right now you're cleveland you see what position they're in the east like i'm not trying to change up the chemistry of that team for ben simmons the cavaliers and the sixers have nearly identical records you could see here the eastern conference getting tight and tight and the sixers man they need to do something quick uh, simmons it seems like he's enjoying this power too much. Obviously, he has the leverage here. I mean, just look at all the benefits. Ben Simmons has the leverage. You know why? He getting paid not to play, first and foremost. And as an athlete, that means he's not putting miles on his tires. So that's just gonna give him longevity. The other thing- Case in point, Simmons is open to sitting the entire season. What a power move right there. Now, Charles Barkley, he was hostile by paparazzi and he had some good points. You call the Houston Rockets. You call the Sacramento Kings. I mean, there's some good trades out there, but the Sixers are being stubborn and just wasting Joel Embiid's great season. This was an argument that was quickly gaining steam, putting pressure on Maury and the front office to do something quick because Embiid's prime. I mean, he's having an MVP season, no doubt. The, the, the Kings put together a package. I'm not going to be able to do it! <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to hear about it. Yeah. And now we got more updates this time from Wendy. Uh, look, I'm going to start talking about these guys a little bit more because they, they are beginning to get a lot of the limelight. It seems like ESPN was basically their network now. Uh, not only are the Sixers showing signs that they are willing to keep Ben Simmons past this trade deadline, but they are hoping still they have not given up on Ben Simmons reversing his field and playing for them this season. That Woj is back with us. Oh boy, Woj just broke to us that the Kings are not out of the table. Yeah, there's there's not a lot of teams left for the Sixers. I mean, Daryl Moore is going to have to act fast. I like Harden. You like that fit? I like fit. Harden with Embiid. Mm. I feel like we're in early 2021 again. I mean, Harden, for, again, with the Harden thing. Now, Shaq, he doesn't seem to take a liking to Simmons. I just thought night. if there was one big guy that was going to understand the, the value of having a really good guard next to him, it was going to be you. But is he really that good? Okay, so this is where we really begin to see the James Harden for Ben Simmons trade really gain steam because now the relationship with Kyrie Irving and Harden yeah, is getting rocky there and now we're seeing a narrative being pushed. Now we're seeing a lot of people pushing for this trade. That's what you gotta do. You gotta hope that Kyrie doesn't come back to play. Mm. Your Amori has a relationship previously with Harden. Jalen Rose, I mean, credit to him. He called for this trade for months and his arguments are sound. 
I'm telling you, this this could legitimately happen. Ben Simmons actually fits better with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. And on the Sixers front, what are they gonna do if Ben Simmons, if, if they don't trade him? Like, are, are, is he gonna play? There's not really a plan to get him back on the court with the Sixers. They say they're open to it, but what are they? What do they want him back? Do they actually? Is it because if they do, there's no plan for him to actually get back. But is Simmons losing the leverage the longer this goes on? He's in a bad situation. Not only is he losing money, but now the 76ers are not forced to trade him because they're doing so well. Well, what are we doing here? Of course, Ben Simmons is not going to play for the Sixers ever again. I mean, just think about it, man. That's it. He is afraid to go out there on the court in Philadelphia in front of those fans. Man, he'd be afraid to tune into TNT as well with the things he said about him, comparing him to Embiid. The <clears throat> difference between him and his soft partner is he can take criticism without being a crybaby. Again, as a former NBA player, Shaq, he has a reason for going hard on Simmons. It's very, very sound. I get it. Ben Simmons messing the money up. Because first of all, they already think we're spoiled. They already think we don't deserve it. They already think we're this. They already think we're that. You're making $40 million, and the only reason why you're not playing is because your coach called you out. Simmons was clearly upset about this, and he just had enough. So he kind of got in my DM and said some things, and I said some what things back. What do you say? Um, no, I don't. I, I can't do that. Things. No, I, I can't do that. But regardless of what you think of Shaq, you have to give him props here. I mean, I, he did not disclose. He tried to keep it classy, man. And it's all you can ask for, really. Now, the Simmons to Harden trades, uh, some people, they don't seem to like it very much. Did Daryl Morey trade Ben Simmons within the Eastern Conference, especially and specifically within his own division to the Brooklyn Nets? It will qualify as the stupidest move of Daryl Morey's career. But how, though? Like, Harden is still a good player. Simmons, I mean, you're getting a lot of value back from Simmons if the Brooklyn Nets were to trade Harden away. And Woj, he has some breaking news. Let's let's see what he has to say about this kerfuffle. Harden, Simmons? But they're no closer to a trade for him, and they want to wait out. Whether it's a James Harden, whether it's other star players who may become available after the season that aren't now. Hmm, so if Woj says it, it must be true. Now, we'll have to wait for a while to see this trade happen. Yeah, so the teams are absolutely engaged in trade discussions. I know that there's people saying things on the record, trying to act like that's not happening, but it is absolutely happening. Um, there is definite motivation from both sides to make this uh, to, to fall into place. Woo! Wendy is putting his credibility on the line here. I mean, Woj has been known to say things and for them to come true a lot of times. So I don't know, man. I don't like Wendy's chances here. Now, Another thing that, you know, helps Woj here is Steve Nash being confident that Harden wants to be in the Nets. No, I've talked to James. He wants to be here. You know, he wants to be here long term as well. So, But the whole NBA world was taken over by this trade talk. You, you couldn't turn on the TV without seeing it. Should the Nets and Sixers make that Harden-Simmons swap right now? I actually love this deal for both teams. Really? I actually don't see this happening at all, honestly. Like, James Harden, Ben Simmons... Like the logistics of it, like, would the Nets even accept this trade? I, I just doubt it, really. Harden and Millsap going to the Sixers. Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond. Oh, wow. It happened. It, it actually happened. And the pieces make sense. Uh, Woj, how did you get this so wrong? And as far as Wendy's concerned, uh, we got to give him his flowers. This, this was beautiful. You won. You beat Woj. <laughs> now, Ben Simmons, I'm hoping he's doing well now that he's out of Philly. You know, he's still going to be, you know, seeing his therapist and trying to get himself mentally right. And now you see him in games. You know, he's not playing, but he's on the bench. It seems like he's being, you know, jovial. He's happy and everything is good. Did you speak with Joel? No, I did not. And he even spoke to the media for the first time since that Game 7 debacle. Oh, this is great to see. Oh, boy. I apologize if I'm getting ahead of ourselves too much, but you guys do have a game in Philly in a couple of weeks. Do you think you can be ready for that? You know, Physically, mentally, you know, I imagine that's a pretty... I hope so. Wow. So he might actually play. And not only that, play against the Sixers? Oh, this is going to be an exciting matchup. 
Now this trade, how is it gonna pan out? So for the short term, you can say that Philly got the best player, so they won the trade. I definitely do see where they're coming from here. Harden, he's playing right now. Ben Simmons, we still don't know his playing status. But the totality of the deal, the Nets won. And I could definitely see that being, well, I mean, Ben Simmons hasn't played yet, but the potential, the, the, what he can bring. I mean, right here, he's practicing with Kyle Culver, his shooting form. What's his potential like in this Brooklyn Nets team? Court this season, how do you like his fit with the Nets? You know what? That depends on Steve Nash. But if I was to use Ben Simmons, I would have him pretty much in the Draymond Green role. Well, there's that name again. We keep hearing about this Draymond Green comparison. And it makes sense. Simmons just has to be a playmaker and defender for this Nets team. By the way, or you could use him like Giannis if Joe Harris gets healthy. And you have huh. Joe Harris, Seth Curry, KD, and Kyrie Irving. He comes you know, downhill. What? Max, do, do you not realize what makes Giannis so much better than Simmons? Is it, it's, it's just how aggressive he, how aggressive he is in big time situations. And Harden, I mean, what's his for motivation for leaving the Nets? I, I still don't understand. For me, it just it, it made sense, man. It's, it's a time where I needed to be, uh, you know, around the guys that I know that want to win. Wow, that that really does sound like he's taking shots at Kyrie there. Uh, the Nets, I mean, the Nets, I mean, they still look good. They still look like they could make a run in the playoffs. Ben Simmons, apparently he's practicing his corner freeze. Oh boy, I cannot wait for him to come back and play again. It is surprising to me that Danny Green would come out and say that. I mean, kudos to him and props to him for being honest. Former teammate Danny Green, I mean, he had some things to say about Simmons and the potential of him returning to Philly in March. Now, I'll be honest, this surprised me. I, I didn't think... Danny Green will come out and say this. Will we shake hands to start? Probably not. First, I'd be highly sh surprised if he even plays in that game. I don't know where his health is mentally, physically, and I don't. we all know that he does not like to play in Philly. But say that does happen. I see it as being a very hectic, playoff-like atmosphere environment um, to where it may be very rough for him. There may still be some bad blood between the Sixers and Simmons. Uh, Simmons, him playing back in Philly, is going to be tough. And I think we're going to see that before March 10th, and he is going to play. There, there's some optimism still, though. Stephen A, though, he, he kept it real. The Philly fans are not going to be nice. It's factual. It's going to be a nightmare for Ben Simmons if Ben Simmons comes there on March 10th to play against the Brooklyn Nets. Maybe Stephen A kept it too real. I mean, he even talked about the issue of his mental health. Very few people believe him. It's not that they're looking at Ben Simmons and saying Ben Simmons uh, has a problem and we don't care. They don't believe he has a problem. They believe all of this was manufactured because he can't take the heat from Philadelphia. There's definitely an argument to be made that Simmons, his motives are just to try to retain his paycheck. It's surreal. Ben Simmons has been out since June. His last game was June 20th. June 20th. I agree. This is... This whole situation is, is really unfortunate. Now, Simmons, it seems like a lot of this is mental, man. He, he looks physically able to play. He looks like he can play tomorrow. But there are still things holding him back. He's been out all of these months. There's nothing wrong with him physically. The schedule for the Nets, I mean, it's ramping up now. They're trying to make a push to make it to the playoffs, okay? that's This team, they slipped when Harden, when KD was injured. There, there's a lot that Simmons needs to do to come back. And the fact that the trade took place and then, the not the next game, but the game after that, just the, three days later, he's on the bench smiling with his teammates. And because Simmons hasn't played in a while, because he looks physically able, it's like, how can we trust that Ben Simmons is even genuine here? What is your prediction? Will Ben Simmons play in that game or no? My prediction is that Ben Simmons will hit peak conditioning on March 11th. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. He may be on a different team, but Simmons is still on the ropes. I mean, he still hasn't responded. He still hasn't played since then. This is a problem that the Nets and him need to resolve quick. He pushed back on Green's comments and said the relationship is fine. Everything is solid. And even more, he said, look, 
Ben Simmons doesn't owe anybody in Philly an apology because business is business. Seth Curry, he's sticking up for his guy. It's pretty understandable here. The Nets absolutely believe they can still win a title. I know it's shaky with KD's. Ooh, the Nets can still win a title? That's how confident the Nets are? This, they're eighth in the East. Like, th this is going to be a huge uphill climb. He's, tr he's trying to recondition and get back into playing shape. He was always playing, he was always working out and in good shape, but there's a difference between practicing and ramping it up. Okay, that's a good sign, right? Simmons, you know, he's actually ramping it up. He's on the bench, you know, things are looking good. And now, last week, he tried to ramp it up. He had a little, I don't know if you, it, setback is too strong of a word. He just had some some back issues. Back issues? Okay, let's, let's, let's not get too much into that. But Kendrick Perkins makes a good point here. Ben Simmons, he's going to need... A leader to guide him. We all question the Nets culture, all right? And it's going to come down to who's going to be the leader of this team, right? Ben Simmons need guidance. Kyrie need guidance. You know, it's a lot of players on there. Andre Drummond, he needs guidance. It, it's going to come down to the leadership of Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, I mean, he was sidelined with an injury early in January. Now he's coming back. It seems like people still cannot get over the fact that Ben Simmons is still sitting out. Your brothers need you. You smiling, high-fiving, dressed in street clothes. What the hell are you doing? I mean, his actions are not just affecting him. They're affecting the entire league. Not to mention the fact, what damage are you doing to your contemporaries? Because the owners are going to remember this. We even have his ardent defender, Rich Paul associate Jay Williams agreeing. I, I am on the same page with you on this. I, I, I don't know what that buffer time is that he needs. I would like some more specification for him. Well, thankfully, Simmons, he seems to be in a good place with the Nets and a different team now. He said he's in a really good place. I mean, just look at Jay Williams here. He cannot wait for this game to happen. Tickets costing $4,000. Uh, he's not even going to play. Ooh, that's a steep price. Oh, my goodness. Even higher than Del Morey's asking price. <laughs> but that won't stop Sixers fans from buying. Yeah, the goal is to make him cry. There really is some bad blood between the fan base and Ben Simmons. It's really palpable. Forever, it was thought that Joel wouldn't be able to last physically to build around and that Ben would be the guy to build around. Just a reminder, the Nets, yeah, they're 10 games behind the first seed. The East, although they're eighth, it's still close. Then they bring in Daryl Morey, and he's like, no, 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 we're going to build around this guy, Joel. Ben is upset by a lot of the stuff. Ben quits on the city. I mean, you see the storyline being set here for this matchup. Oh, this is going to be so epic. It's biblical. Simmons, even though he's not going to play, he's getting ready to go to Philly. And boy, oh boy, is he in for something crazy. Like, this is going to be historically great. You, you, did, you, did Doc say that maybe they should do a tribute video? That was so <laughs> antagonistic. No, Doc, he, he meant it in a lighthearted way. He was trying to be nice, but... Bro, that's crazy. Would they show the moment that he gives up the dunk at oh, the end of, of Game 7 God last year? God knows what he would do with that dunk. <laughs> so, so. I was glued to my screen the whole day, March 10th, waiting for this game to be on. It's like this was going to be a playoff game like no other during the regular season. What reception oh. Oh. should Ben Simmons expect tonight in Philly? I mean, you could see the preview of what was to come. When he will come out of the hotel, the back side of the hotel, mind you. You getting the booze all day? Boo! Thanks for James, man! You know, at least Ben Simmons came out, you know, he greeted the fans that he still had. Why spit in the face of Sixers fans? Why the grievance? Why the grievance, Ben? I don't know that hounding him as he's going to the bus is a, is, is a good move. Look, I just cannot wait for how things are going to go when they're in the arena with Ben Simmons in it. What is this dude even selling, bro? YouTube, please do not yellow dollar sign me. Oh my god. Ooh, he's out and about and the Sixers, they're giving him his booze. And boy, he gave them a little treat too. It's, 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 it's actually amazing. Like, this was all people wanted you to do, Simmons. Come on. 
The first quarter of this game would not disappoint. Wow. Into Durant. And there is a They're lot of They're going talking. back and forth. They're going back and forth. And the crowd was in it. it. It was a beautiful sight. This game, come on. Let us see a close battle. Uh, but the Nets, I mean, they were just on it tonight. I mean, the Sixers, they couldn't counter the Nets attack. Just ferocious KD, Kyrie, didn't matter. Even Bruce Brown came in and gave him a little something. Ben Simmons, he was pleased watching this entire spectacle. Ben Simmons picked up the loose ball at the other <laughs> end, and that's the only time he's touched it in the chorus of boos begin. Let's just say Simmons is leaving Philly a happy man, and the Philly fans, unfortunately, they couldn't get the win over KD, and KD, he reveled in the whole thing. Didn't do that two free throws tonight for him. You know, he's three for 17, he tried to get to the rim, but I think we were all there swarming. He's talking about James Harden's stats during the game. I mean, he was so happy about that fact, he had to repeat it. Three for 17, 11 points, you know, that's a, that's a great formula for us to win. KD also had the last laugh, of course. He even had a little something to say to the Philly fans, I mean, the crowd. It's hard to, for you to, Chan at Ben Simmons when you lose him by that much. Now, this is why I like to see guys, players in the NBA making their voices heard in this podcast. I mean, Embiid coming out and he really speaking his piece here. I just, I just didn't understand what was going on, honestly. Like, I didn't understand, like, what happened and, you know, what led on to that whole situation. To this day, I don't understand. This whole situation is so confusing. I, I, I'm having a hard time understanding what's going on now. He has a real injury here, and this is something that he's dealt with over the course of his career. It's flared up. But now that the Philly game is over, it seemed like Ben Simmons was going to return any time now, but his back is actually now something that's holding him back again. What has kept Ben Simmons out of the lineup, unable to get back on the court for the Nets? It's an irritation of the L4 disc in his lower spine. It really does sound like he may have a herniated disc. That, that's very bad news right there. Uh, you, Ben Simmons has been able to have a couple good days and then a setback and then a reset. But when is he gonna come back? That's the question. Like, it's been almost a year now and it's like, there's no progress. So you're looking mm. potentially April 8th, April 10th, Cleveland, Indiana, both at home. But more and more people are beginning to doubt that Ben Simmons is even going to come back this season at all. But two days ago, he goes, I am extremely confident. I am extremely confident that Ben Simmons is going to play for us in the regular season. I just don't know to trust anything Steve Nash says. Within 24 hours of yeah. him saying that, Ben Simmons had had an epidural injection in his back. But the Nets, should they even play Simmons at all? Do they even need him to win? Do they need Ben Simmons if they're gonna make a run? Yes, they do. How can you count on Simmons for anything at this point? You can't. I, I'm operating on the assumption Ben Simmons is gonna play this season. Despite everything that's happened for the Nets, they're still the favorite to come out of the East. I mean, that's just insane. They're the eighth seed, and the guys they're up against, there's number two seeds, number one seeds. And even against the Grizzlies, they're, they're more likely to win, apparently, according to the betting odds. Seems like Ben Simmons, he just came to a situation that has even more pressure in it. What specifically is Ben Simmons able to do right now? Right now, he's really just rehabilitating and strengthening. Um, he's not on the floor at this moment. You know, we hope that in, in the short term, we can get back on the floor and start to build a little bit of basketball activity. But okay, so Ben Simmons is not close to returning, but... Okay, this is weird because we we saw him shoot the freeze, right? Am, am I the only one that saw that? Also, MB doing more interviews. Love to see it. What was the biggest thing that wanted him to do? Shoot threes. Shoot threes or free throws yeah, or yeah, yeah. whatever that shooting. was. G -g 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 shooting in general. In general shooting. That just felt like he had been so long and there was no changes. It's just sad to see MB having to deal with all this nonsense. And it's like, is this actually strengthening his MVP case this season? Absolutely. It is a factor on the court. I don't know if anybody disagrees with that. Off the court is the question. I don't agree. I think off the court shouldn't matter. On the court is what matters here. Our Adrian Wojnarowski reporting Nets guard Ben Simmons has filed a grievance trying to get back the nearly $20 million of salary that the Philadelphia 76ers held from his paycheck. So just in case you're confused with the timeline, this, this all started really when Game 7 happened. 
as like the money just kept being taken away from him. It's been 288 days since this happened. Oh boy, Steve Nash has some things to say about the Ben Simmons situation. Let's 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 see the updates. Do you think he'll miss the playing game? Ben? Yeah. Yeah, it's so likely now he has one now. Not running. You can't say I'm really surprised here. I mean, Ben Simmons, are, are they putting too much pressure on him in this moment? I checked in with somebody very close to Ben Simmons today. And said, is it, would you really bring him back in the playoffs after having not played for 10 months with all that pressure and everything on the line? And the answer I got was, yeah. It seems like the Nets, I mean, they, they don't have a choice in the matter. I mean, Ben Simmons, they really need him right now. I wouldn't play Ben Simmons at all. I wouldn't show him at all in this postseason. Because it's not, it's stacked against him. There is a lot of pressure on this guy. And, like, he doesn't need to do this. He can just rest the season. Because now the Nets, they're in a playing situation. They're going to play in the playoffs. It's going to be an uphill climb. Just lets him rest. But obviously, the, the, the Nets' defense is suffering without him. It's a win now situation clearly for the Nets. KD's 34 years old. You want to bring Ben Simmons in ultimately? They're clearly trying to win it all now. And it's like... Look at how many minutes these two are playing. But I have such a lack of belief in them defensively. Well, I'm almost wondering if you go, hey, Ben Simmons, we don't want to put you in another tough spot to really challenge you mentally. Ooh, the lamb green jacket. I mean, Ben Simmons, he's looking fly on the bench. But yeah, the pressure is mounting right now. Ben Simmons hasn't played in a year He's got a back injury, and we're not sure about his motivation. Physically, you have issues, too. Conditioning isn't there. We haven't seen him for almost a year. Really? What are the Nets doing here? They know the situation Ben Simmons just came out of, and they seem to be making the whole situation even worse. To act like he's going to be a savior, fix an entire defense, and this team can suddenly go out there and win the postseason and win a title, it's unfair to a guy that shows us that he's not quite there yet mentally or physically to have that put on it. Assuming that he is going to play one second, I think is pushing it too far. The Nets can't assume that's going to happen. Fair enough. It's The Nets really just need to rest him. Uh, but obviously, there's a lot of pressure here. And you have analysts in the media now fantasizing. I'm just fantasizing. And I'm saying to you that if Ben Simmons oh, can yeah. give you 25 a game, looking the way he looked. Now, I mean, he could shoot as poorly as he does. 25 minutes is pushing it, though. He hasn't played in almost 300 days. If that athleticism, that playmaking ability, and that defender oh, that yeah. he is, Love to see it. it shows up for 25 minutes, which it won't, I don't believe. At least Stephen A understands that this is, this is not realistic, but like, why even entertain it? But if it did, Brooklyn Nets going to the finals. Oh yeah, that's why you're Brooklyn Nets going to the finals. An hour into this video, I'm pretty sure you, like me, have more questions. I want to know what the hell you were doing that you hurt your back. You ain't played since last June. What were you doing? Stephen A, man, he's, he's, he has a point. What happened? How does this happen? I can't believe I'm the ah, only one saying this. You're stuff. not. What you're happened? not the only one. What was he doing, Jay Williams? That's the me, question. Me, I, Jay Williams, what the hell was he I doing? I can't defend it. I can't defend it. Was he getting his groove on, tweak the hip throw? At this point, I know you're exhausted. I know this whole story is just tiring. But there seems to be a good ending in sight. Uh, Woj, in addition, has reported that should the Nets advance, that they're very optimistic that Ben Simmons could return for a first-round playoff series. At this point, we still have this play burned, etched into our minds. Right, Nick, you have to go all the way back to June 20th, the last time that he played a basketball game. That's 296 days. The clock is ticking, and things are going as scheduled. Simmons is ramping it up, and it seems like he'll be ready. Simmons is going through all this individual work, and he's not doing anything team-wise yet. Nash told us the other day he still hasn't been cleared for conditioning. But could somebody tell me what this is? <laughs> like, what was this post? Like, and why is ESPN putting it out on YouTube like it's a big deal? Like, this really had me cracking up. I will say that as I have routinely checked on Ben Simmons over the last two months, I have continued to hear um, pessimism. That's why, you know, a lot of this news that we're seeing lately, you know, it's been very, very heartwarming. <laughs> but everything changed in this last few days to optimism from people behind the scenes. So the Brooklyn Nets won their playing game against the Cavs. They now have to face the second seed, the Celtics, as the seventh seed the Nets are now. 
it's going to be very interesting once Simmons comes back. And now you're expecting him to come back at the highest level sure. to actually defend and possibly have to guard a guy like Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown after not playing in 18 months and you're dealing with back issues. Like, it makes zero sense. It actually really doesn't make sense. Like, when you really think about it, the Nets, they should be doing everything to rest a the guy. Then why are the Nets even considering it? I do not know. Like, I, I really, I really do not know. Do you know how intense this atmosphere is going to be? He hasn't played a regular season game. He hasn't even played a basketball game since that game seven. So what, what are we really expecting from him? Look, th I heard a very important phrase today. Mm. Pain free. Oh. That's an important phrase, I think, when you're talking about this back injury. Pain free. Doesn't that sound nice? Uh, the optimism is at an all-time high. Ben Simmons might actually play in the playoffs. He's getting closer, and I think the sense is if he comes through this week of practice, there's a chance he plays in this series. Okay, let's see what Steve Nash has to say about the latest update. Steve, what was Ben able to do today? Uh, ben just did scripting and, uh, and his shooting stuff today. What so is he scripting? Is five on oh, uh, running through the plays. So he is, is it fair to say he is not yet cleared for contact or one-on-one? -on -one? Yesterday was his first day of contact. Yesterday was his first day of contact. Uh, played with some teammates yesterday. And, uh... Okay, so there's still hope. Let's see. Woj has an update as well. We'll see if he can play soon. Ben Simmons plans to make his return on Monday in game four mm. against the Celtics. And certainly that's barring any kind of a setback. Mm. So we're going to have to wait that long. I mean... What's going on right now? Don't tell me if the brother is able. We go let him. Oh, you can take additional time off. Okay. Damn that. Okay. I would roll him out. Enough you ready, you enough, man. Yeah, can I tell you? When, when you going to give him a pacifier, no, no, too? This honestly just leaves us with more questions and doubts. We're saying he's going to possibly play Monday. Today's Friday. So if he was truly ready to go, he be he playing, playing tomorrow. tomorrow. And I agree with their frustrations, man. This is getting a little bit too ridiculous, okay? And I'll refer you to a comment that's been posted on this video. Woj, when he said barring, barring any, any kind, kind of, of setback, setback, I mean, they're only going to play if they win game three. Now, unfortunately, they lost game three. So we know what that means, right? He's in Brooklyn, and Woj is here with the very latest. Woj? Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Uh, Greeny, the, the Nets have ruled out Ben Simmons for game four on Monday. This is catharsis. Just seeing now the reactions. I'm told that Ben Simmons came to the facility this morning, told the Nets that he was experiencing back soreness again after yesterday's workout. We can see him doing little drills, shooting freeze, and come on, man. It, this is getting out of hand. And I'm just here for all the salt now. You rolling the dice on Ben Simmons, you don't know what you're getting. There were so many issues in the Hawks series when he was missing layups and he wasn't able to really, like, respond. I feel bad for him because not playing in Philly and then not being able to play at all with the Nets, man, there's some real issues happening. Jalen, I mean, he's being nice, but even him, he, he cannot take the situation on any longer. This is getting out of hand. And Stephen A, boy. Jalen's different than me. I feel bad for anybody who was his teammate. He quit on LSU. He quit on the Philadelphia 76ers. And now he ain't showing up for the Brooklyn Nets. I do recall, despite him not playing, he still filed a grievance to collect $20 million that he has not earned. This is one of the most pathetic situations that I've ever seen in my life. And at the end of the day, when the NBA gets in the collective bargaining table and they go after the players in terms of a pay-for-play stipulation in the collective bargaining agreement, it's going to be called the Ben Simmons rule. So let me get this straight. He wakes up one morning Oh, he realizes it's game four. He actually has to play now. Uh, his back is hurting. My back is hurting. That's the story now? Come on, man. Out for game four when it was rumored you were going to make your debut. This dude has zero competitive fire. As small a chance as the Nets have to come back in this series, you still have KD and Kyrie. All you need is to win one game and take it from there. You know, when things are going good, yeah, I'm going to play in game four. Chuck said it. If you could have played on Saturday, you could have played on Monday. Now that they lost, my back hurt. Well, if your back hurt, get some icy hot out of You got to give it to Shaq with that plug. That was smooth. He went, you know, the punk move, right? Oh, I'm not going to play in my back hurt, but we all know what that is. That boy who won Rick of the Year, Scotty Barnes, he was out there on one leg. Playing. True. Very true. I mean, this is just embarrassing. And the front office of the Nets are now off the hook here, too. And the, the whole organization is all, honestly at fault, too. And it's like, 
Even Jay Williams has lost faith. You go on national TV and you say, it's easy to insert me back into the lineup. I know how to do it. But now you're saying it's a do or die situation and I defended Ben Simmons against Stephen A. Smith. Oh yeah, you have. Oh, you really did. And and this is just so satisfying seeing the end result. I fought for him. I even questioned Doc Rivers and all the playing styles that he had. Saying, oh, it's not all on Ben Simmons. A lot of it is about Doc Rivers and his rotation and they give up an 18-point lead. I defended him. I can't defend this. You see Kevin Durant came and look at this dude. On the sideline, he's dressed up like, what, where, where are you going? To a red carpet in L.A.? I'm worried about you playing this damn game. Yet alone, what you going to wear to the game? I can't. I know some of you are surprised to see me revel in all of the misery. <laughs> and I know I'm a narrator, but you've seen those books. I'm quite unreliable, and it's, it's pretty obvious. What I see right now is a guy that has completely lost credibility. He's lost credibility not only with his teammates and with the organization, he's lost credibility league-wide on the bench, and, and he's trying to make a spectacle of himself sitting up by the coaches wearing that outfit that he wore the other night. If I'm Ben Simmons right now, I'm doing everything I can to stay out of the picture until I am ready to play. Even watching his interactions with his teammates, it just looks awkward. Like, these guys are rolling their eyes like, come on, I really don't want to hear from you. Does he love basketball enough? Who knows? I, I don't know if this question is really apt at this point. Ben Simmons, it's like the drive. Is it there? I, I guess it is. Like, but there's not much indicating that Ben Simmons really wants to go back and play in the NBA. It's, it's really weird. You saw so many people calling him soft. You saw so many people saying he didn't want it. If you look back at the film, not me once. This is a big update. Uh, he had surgery on his back. He actually had back surgery. So for all of us doubting the back injury, I mean, there it is. That's your proof right there. Now, the Brooklyn Nets even had to release a statement updating everyone about it. So should we revel in this misery? Should we be, you know, laughing at Ben Simmons right now? A lot of people owe Ben Simmons apologies yeah. today. I'll be honest. I was one of those people questioning the back injury. I mean, it looked very sus. I mean, this guy was, you know, doing basketball drills like normal. But I get it, man. Having back issues is not easy. You can power through it, but at some point, it's going to take a toll on you. And Ben Simmons, it seemed like, you know, that morning when he had the back soreness, a lot of people, you know, they looked at the herniated disc. They, they, they were really concerned. But that doesn't change what Ben Simmons is at the end of the day. Does Simmons surgery news change your perception of him? Not one bit. He's the perfect example of how entitlement and how being coddled for your whole life just ruins somebody. And now it's like the Nets have to hold him accountable. But can they even do that? Everybody think I was joking. I'm serious. I mean, what the hell did you do? You hit a pothole on the New Jersey Turnpike? You ain't played since last June 20th. How the hell you got a back injury? And I know it's not appropriate to, you know, talk about somebody's injury like that, but is he wrong, though? This is a very valid question. When they did an MRI on his back after the season, after he complained of having a soreness before, before that final game, um, it showed the herniation had gotten bigger. So before we end this, we have to, you know, wish Ben Simmons well, a speedy recovery. Hopefully things go well. This is no ill will towards Ben Simmons, but this point has to be made because... What we're seeing now might be a repeat of this whole video. That takes about six weeks before you get back in the gym, but they expect him to make a full return physically before training camp. <laughs> training camp. I've heard that one before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we all have heard of that one before. Ben Simmons. This whole story, this whole saga, so exhausting. I, I, I mean, I'm barely able to stay up at night editing this video this has been one of the most tiring works of art that i've had to do this video to me is a work of art because it shows it outlines exactly what went wrong with ben simmons the steps the processes all of it and i hope you enjoyed it because i loved making this video i know i know i sound tired but i am finally so happy that you, this video's out, man. I'm just so happy. I hope you liked it. Subscribe if you liked it. Please, Simmons, if you hear this, please don't make me do a video like this again next year. Please. I'm begging you. <laughs>